Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have the Sci-Fi Katana, which we currently have equipped on our character here. And we also have currently displaying on my little picnic table currently in front of you here. Uh, this does come with a lot of glow variants. Obviously we got some red here, some gold, and some some heated. I guess this is a heated katana. This is just a regular katana. It also comes with sheath. So we have a sheath on our back. Um, currently with a katana equipped into it, but there's some varieties you can do there. We're also looking a little bit at the third person animations here. Um, right? But a little bit of the moving around and how you look and stuff. It pretty much operates like a regular one-handed sword. Right? I haven't seen any anything too unique there, right, in terms of that first person. Just like a regular one-handed sword. Um, just like a revolutionary sword or anything vanilla in the base game pretty much operates in the same animation so we should take a look at our back though first let me put the katana away so obviously we have the katana here it's 110 damage medium it's pretty much regular sword things we'll take a look at what we can do with the weapon workbench uh, in a second but we can take a look at the different sheaths we have so you have a version here which is a full katana well but if you have a backpack on so it will sit on the side obviously it looks weird kind of like this um but if you have a backpack you can you can still have a sheath on which is kind of a cool little added detail and then the default which is kind of on your hip right and then you have so this that's the full katana sheath backpack and the regular back version and then you have katana sheath which is does not have the katana in there it's just the sheath part right because obviously you have the katana in your hands depends on how you want to think of it and then the same versions for that one for the backpack and then one for on your hip right and so you can this is all obviously counts as apparel and stuff so i'm just gonna put the regular full sheath back on that's the way I like to do it. So, also these little things. The, the stands here are just junk, which is an interesting thing. So, if you you go over here to your junk, and then to display them, actually, you have to drop them. And then they, that causes all kinds of issues. You gotta, like, pick them up and then be, like, fall properly. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's obviously not, like, an actual crafting in your uh, settlements thing. Just pick these back up. These are, these are not, these are being weird. Anyway. But you can't show those off. Y'all craft this here under a section. I missed it already. It's up top here. Somewhere. I, I thought it was up here more. Never mind. I lied. Octi Katana is what it's called here. So you, you might need the blacksmith perk to even craft the sheets and stuff. Even to craft the katana and all these things. Blacksmith one and, you know, variety of different things. But you can also craft the stands. You don't even have to craft the stands. Um, they don't even, they're not valuable, but you can put, you can put them up in your bases as junk, like kind of displayed on shelves and stuff, uh, if you're into that kind of thing. So let's take this to the weapon workbench, because I think that's the main aspect here. Um, you can change the glow color, we have neon blue. That is the glow on the side, and then, okay, heated is, is blue, gold, and then silver. And then you can change the glow color from neon blue, none, you don't want the sword to glow. Orange, pink, purple, pink is white for some reason, it's very white to me. Purple, red, white. Yeah, white looks very much like pink to me, but you know, maybe that's just my display or my mod load order and stuff. Um, and then you can sharpen it, so obviously you can make it do more damage. And this requires higher and higher blacksmith work. So obviously by default, you have unsharpened. You can make a sharpened one by the same perk requirements for making it at all. But obviously you want to make it sharpened three to make it do the most damage. Um, I think this is some interesting color combinations here. Maybe like you could do like a gold with like a little bit of yellow glow on that. I think that would look pretty sick. I mean, maybe not even. Really, I mean, you could do all kinds of color combinations. Right? I wish the pink worked. That'd be cool. You could make the no glow. You're not in that kind of thing. Orange looks very yellow to me too, though. Like they look very much the same. Just to put that out there's a thing. Just maybe it's my display thing, but you know, my display is how I'm seeing things, and you can tell me what you think. Um, maybe gold with the purple, just to have some different stuff. And obviously, you got the maximum damage katana you're gonna have there. Um, I probably got to go to the armor workbench here, and then you could be like. So you want to have the sheath, obviously the one I currently have equipped, we have um, a purple glow with a, with a gold blade, and then you want to make a gold sheath. You can, so you can customize all of that stuff too. The sheath can obviously match the katana that you're currently equipped with. So we have a gold katana with a gold sheath on our back, and then we whip it out, and then there we go, right? Like your things can all kind of line up, and that's cool. It's a very powerful weapon too, 189 I think at... I mean, we can compare this directly, so let's just let's just do that, because I would like to give myself a melee weapon. I would like it to be bladed. I would like your regular Chinese officer sword, because I think that's a big basis for this. So, Chinese officer sword does 97 damage by default. This is 189 damage medium. Obviously, as you see here, this is a very similar animations, right, for the thing. So, 
I imagining this is this is what our direct comparison is. So if I wanted to take the Chinese officer sword and I wanted to upgrade it, you still get 167 plus 20. So it's pretty close. Obviously the the katana is doing all physical damage and not the energy damage, so that may be a negative or positive. And it is slightly up by two. And it has a lot more obviously visual customization going on. So that is something that counts for it. We obviously are going to go cut some things up with the katana because testing out its combat effectiveness is part of like half of the fun of using weapons, right? Um, obviously all the cool cosmetic things are cool, right? The little stands, the little sheaths, these are cosmetics. They don't obviously provide that much benefit. I really would like to, I'm going to like stand on this step. I'm going to try my very best to drop this in a way <laughs> that lands. So the best way I actually maybe is to just drop them on the ground here and then we can hold A, pick them up, put that back on the table there, and then we pick this up, put, I mean, or it fell over on the table, fallout physics are weird, <laughs> but obviously you could pick it back up right away and then drop it right again, there we go, our, this is my katana kind of here, they got yellow glow to match their gold katana, I got a little bit of purple glow, just a, you know, variety of different colors there, but yeah, so I'll see you guys when we get to some combat though. Alright everybody, we are currently loading up my Zombies Arena Arcade mode. We go to Super Duper Mart, that's just kind of, you know, the way I do things. We're going to chop up some ghouls, because they're ghouls. If you're going to have a melee fight with things, you got to fight something that's going to melee back, maybe. Um, we're going to maybe kind of try to sneak around. You can get some of those long-range bat shots and stuff. Because of the blitz. Sneak attack for three times damage. Did I kill the other one, too? I killed the one behind it. Sick. That happens sometimes, right? That, that, that's the effect of the... One of the higher level melee upgrade perks. I forget what it's even called at the top of my head. Um, but they're sneaky sneaky. We're going to do some third person stuff too. We're going to try to get all these things. Um, but obviously the best way to play VATS is, or play melee is VATS. Because um, you just sneak up on things like this. You have like a very long range with the blitz perk, which is obviously like almost required to play the game effectively. And... You just snap things, and then you win. That's, that's how it goes. Obviously, we're doing one-shots, but this is a sneak attack, so we're going to now be like, hello, look, look at me, ghoul, hello. Uh, we'll do some regular combat. See, now we're not one-shotting things anymore, but still doing plenty of damage, especially on these ghouls. Obviously, you wouldn't want a big pack of them, but still doing some decently effective work there. So we'll stop with that for now, and then we'll do one little wave here, so maybe some third-person action. Sneaking around. Abusing camera angles and stuff with a third person perspective. I don't know, I'm not sure other, other reasons to play third person, otherwise, I guess you maybe see your character and stuff. So, once the ghouls spawn in here, we'll sneak around with the sci fi katana. It is obviously not like gonna dramatically change your gameplay and stuff here, right? It's it, it very much like I said, functions just like any other one handed sword does from the base game or not. Like, we snuck up on that one somehow. I don't even know how we snuck up on that one, to be fair. Like, that's. That's some big silly, but you can you can abuse camera angles and stuff here. Like that's the third person thing. You can one shot a legendary because you get that three times damage modifier from melee weapons. So that's without even ninja. Was that bats enhance something? My could something is is breaking on my back. Radium rifle. That's I mean something. Um, yeah, that was that was kind of breaking there for a second. We did level up too. I'm not leveling up on screen. Wow, I'm supposed to be third person, but I'm like I get so. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not a personal preference of mine, but I know that some of you. Really do like that third person gameplay, so I'm trying to show some of it off so you guys can get an idea of what you're dealing with here. It just feels slow. This this part of the deal. I like the perspective or something, maybe. So obviously that's boom boom dead dead. Or they're just both dead. Like if if you none of you have ever done a melee run out here. If you're out here been playing Fallout 4 because you're like, I like shooting guns, and maybe you do. But melee is the shit. Like it is a very fun thing to do. Like, I can't hit him yet. Can't hit him yet. But, like, look how far it is. It's pretty far. And I'm probably going to get both of them. Right? I mean, there's just two of ghouls dead. You're literally just a fucking super ninja. A sci fi ninja, even. So, we'll do some regular third person combat. That's good enough, I guess. And then, anybody else left? No, that was it. I mean, it's a cool sci fi katana, right? It is It is cool weapon. It, it Like I said, slightly more damage. Just like the tiniest bit more damage than other one-handed swords from the vanilla game, so it is at least useful to use. That you don't want it ever to be less, right? You don't want it to be worse than the vanilla game weapons. It's got some cool stands you can put. Obviously, the sheath is a cool thing on your back. Let me get a little close-up perspective of that there. Um, actually, kind of looks broken at, from the angle. Yeah, we just let it <laughs> move off of the wall there a little bit so it loads in properly. You get a cool sheath. 
You got a sheath that compensates for backpacks. You got a sheath on the hip. You got a sheath on the back. You got a sheath without the katana in it. Some some good customization here, and you know like a decently fun melee weapon to use. With the biggest part of it obviously being that it is visually customizable with glow color and blade color, right? So if that seems like something that you're into, you should check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda on that page, so you can download this mod for yourselves there, or the Nexus mod page, or wherever you can find this mod, or wherever I can find it, or whatever. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating down below. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.